I can do it now if you like. Rover, this is Houston. Fast J293. Go ahead, Houston. Uh, Dave, we want you to head towards Station 4, and we'll advise you on uh, what your rate looks like and the tasks that uh, we want you to carry out once you arrive. Just start off in the direction of Station 4, please. Okay, give me heading. I can see it over there, Dave. Yeah. I see about uh, 330. That's not going to mean much to you until you get down to the level. That's right. And the camera's running, Joe. Okay, and standing by for a mark when you when you roll. Roger. Hey, you're camera. Camera's loose on a swivel, Jim. No, I'm getting a pan here. Oh, really? Oh, it's an awful fast pan. I just wanted to make sure it was running. Dave, you'll want to trend for uh, course 346. And it's about 1.7 clicks to station. Okay. Gonna go down sort of slow here, Joe. Make sure we uh, play it cool. Well, I just have the camera running, Joe. Remind me to turn it off when it runs out of film. Yes, sir. I've got a hack. About half a mag on it. Roger. And you're running at uh, 12 frames per second, I imagine. Yeah. Right. But we're going down southern, I guess. Down southern going to be very good on the photography, Joe. So the zero phase just washes out completely. No problem, Dave. Uh, Jim might want to swing the camera around towards the right. <laughs> well, we're heading directly downhill now. We're crossed up. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking out at the... Uh, are we looking at the, the big crater dead ahead? It's doomed. Yeah. Yeah. That should be doomed. Do you want to hit the uh, southern, southwest? Yeah. Yeah. But again, that's, uh, you know, we didn't see the uh, the levee or rampart on the eastern side. No, we sure didn't. So, uh, probably any place on the southern rim would be good. Although, for me, from here, it almost looks like you could drive around the eastern rim of uh, Dune. Boy, there's a crater just east of uh, east of Dune. It looks very recent. It has uh, a great number of blocks that I can see from here. And the largest uh, from this vantage point, again, you've probably, you all have probably seen it on TV, the largest crater which was Arrowhead, we named Arrowhead, really runs east-west, which we mentioned before, rather than the north-south. And on the uh, northern side of a large crater, a long gate crater, which runs north east west on the north side, there are a great number of blocks exposed. Roger, we copy. Tracks here as we go down slope. Rover tracks. Yeah, probably just follow the tracks, huh? Yeah, probably it did. Sounds good. We know that's a fairly good route. Yeah. Okay, we're heading uh, 320, bearing 350, and range is 4.3. Copy, Jim, thank you. Sure, it, it's bouncy you're going down, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we're about down out of it now. That's a beautiful sight. Man. Oh, we didn't get the 500 in stereo up there, but you got a pan, didn't you? No. Okay. Well, I can't get over those lineations, that layering at Mount Henley. Boy, I can't either. That's really special. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Talk about organization. <laughs> yeah, man. That's the most organized mountain I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, they're so uh, uniform in, in width. You know? Yeah. Nothing we've seen before has had the same uh, thickness of each bed. Uniform thickness from the very top to the bottom. Yeah. And looking to the north on that spur that we talked about yesterday, uh, we can see the uh, the horizontal beds again. Roger, Jim. Copy. Uh, any idea of the dimension? Actually, I'd estimate it's uh, relatively thin. But uh, yeah, I'd say that's probably if you took the uh, 
the ridge line on Mount Hadley, which is practically horizontal in our present position, and split that into 100%, and I'd say those uh, lineations across there, the bedding across there, are probably like uh, a quarter of a percent, wouldn't you, Jim? I know, yeah, yeah, certainly less than one. Yeah. Must be, if you look across the ridge line and then look at the dip to the uh, northwest there, you could count a couple hundred anyway, could you? Uh, uh, apparently you couldn't see that on TV. No, not at all, not at all. Hopefully it's in the photographs, but we're marking it down nonetheless. TV had never... And then if you look, yeah, horse. Jim, horizontal half, we're all the way up. I guess that would yeah. be slumping. Yeah, there, there is. I see it now, yeah. It just looks like slump, probably, yeah. Because they're discontinuous sub-horizontal uh, lines, which are pretty, pretty much uh, cross-bedded. If it was bedding, I don't think it is. It just looks like slump pattern ground. What kind of progress are you making now, Jim? Well, uh, we're going at about uh, 0.8 clicks. <laughs> no, no, 8. <laughs> Roger, copied 8. <laughs> That's almost back it up, back it up, back it up.